Well, hello everybody. It's been a long time since I made a video, but uh, I have a small little side job to do here, and um, I have a Walbro carburetor WT363 that has fallen victim of our ethanol fuels. So, it needs rebuilt. I have already had the carburetor part. Um, I've already cleaned it. <clears throat> I have the repair kit. You're going to want to replace the primer and this little guy here is the rubber check valve that ethanol destroys and that's the uh, primer bulb. I unfortunately don't have a number for the primer bulb. I'm going to try and keep everything in the frame here and kind of show you how I work on these little guys. Um, these caps right here on your low and high screws, I call them emissions caps because they kind of limit the distance you, you can adjust them. However, um, these are removable. The black cap goes on the low side and the nylon cap goes on the high side. Go there. The high side uh, jet is a little bit wider than the low side. I'll loosen up these two screws. Um, I like using the stubby screwdrivers when I can because it's, it just seems to work better for me. That plate comes off. I'll take the top off here. But you want to make sure that this hole is open. That's where the um, uh, primer check valve is, and then there's a little hole next to it. Both of these were, all of these were, they were just plugged. They were messed up. There is a fuel filter on this, and I believe this kit comes with a filter. So as far as getting that mesh filter out, we're going to need a pick. As I said, there is there's a screen filter in here. Uh, and the kit comes with it. So we're going to replace it. You can usually reach in here with a pick. Hopefully you're getting able, getting able to able to see it. Really need to get one of those. <clears throat> I call them mechanics trays that are magnetized. But I don't I don't have a garage. I don't, you know. I don't have any place but to work out in the carport here and it's nice and quiet. I've done it for 30 some years now. So we're going to take this whole thing apart cuz I'm going to give it with that little bit of goo in there, it has me a little, uh, you know. That's the other piece. And we'll go ahead. There's a welch plug here. There's a brass cap there. We're going to go ahead and take out the uh, needle. Uh, the only thing that this kit does not come with is this spring. So I've launched those many times into the into the abyss and never seen them again. But now here's the little uh, screen and kind of set that over the hole like so. Hopefully you can see this. Let's use a drill bit that's slightly smaller than a hole. So we're gonna we're gonna put this side together first. 
always keep the uh, the old parts till I'm done because if you start tearing into things and you wonder uh, you know does the diaphragm go before the gasket well when you look at this gasket you can tell hey that side goes up against the part of the carburetor and then you just compare it to your other one and there's a slight difference between the new and the old the new one has a tiny little hole here in the center which probably doesn't really matter because it goes over a, an area of the carburetor here that has no path kind of look at it it's almost self-explanatory that lays right on top of it you got the new diaphragm here it has a curved edge and it has a pointer right here which lines up with the pointer on the um, gasket okay now that we have our gaskets in place open the throttle about halfway and uh, sometimes these will jump out of place we'll open the throttle about halfway and we'll put this right where it goes and hold on to it now there's two other things you have to do before you can put this top part together you're going to want to change the primer and then you're going to want to change the um, primer check valve which is just a little come on focus just a little tiny piece of rubber that keeps the fuel flowing one way and uh, it will be rotted if not it will be soon uh, so it's best to replace it when you got it open so that goes in there usually that just pushes in place like so uh, the way this bracket goes on really is only one way although it appears that it can go too uh, center. so you want this short piece to go towards your throttle. Set those screws in place. See right there the screw just snugged up and that one snugged up. Got the there we go. Maybe that'll sit still for me. I'm going to put the needle on the bracket and drop that right in there. That's okay. There's multiple ways to do this. I'll just pivot that down in there like so, and I probably can't see. Hold that in place with my finger. Everything sitting in place. Bracket looks nice and level, smooth. So we're going to put our gasket on here. I have an unwanted guest to be. Get out of here, B. Lay the diaphragm in place. cover here you don't really want to uh, go cranking down on them too hard I'm just snugging them up in a crisscross pattern and then I go back and give them a little bit of a snug. Like so. Now, we're going to put our needles back in. And as I said, some only go in the uh, high side, 
only goes in the high side and won't thread into the into the low side. So we're going to go ahead and put that in and gently turn it in so it just stops and I'm going to back it out about one and a half turns which is what it was set at before. So we got half, one, and half. I'm not going to put the emissions caps on these till I do the final tuning and have a warmed up engine. I might not even put them back on at all. Gently turn this in till it just bottoms out. And then we'll do half, one, half. And now we're ready to put it on the engine. Thanks for watching. Next video we'll be replacing this fuel line assembly, a little bit of retrofitting that I had to do for it on the tank and uh, see if this pig will run again.